everybody, this is Eli, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made these awesome solar eclipse slash welding glasses. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, if you didn't know, there's a solar eclipse happening, and it's happening in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and I'm actually going to be going to it, which I'm really excited, and it's going to be like a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's the 21st of August, and you have to be wearing special glasses, which are almost like welding glasses, because the sun's going to be here, and then the moon's going to get cross right in front of the sun and block basically almost all the sunlight, but you still have to wear a special uh, pair of glasses. So, for these glasses are from Harbor Freight. They're actually welding glasses. Um, they have a really dark tint, so whenever you're welding, it doesn't hurt your eyes. But all I'm looking for is this dark tinting piece on these glasses. So I'm just going to pop this open, get that dark piece, both of them, and then I'm just going to make a pair of glasses. So if you remember my last video of the Mr. Magoo um, big glasses, I used this as a template. So I'm just going to do the same thing, use these Ray-Bans as a template, and I'm just going to pop these lenses out, and then I can use some of this wood. I don't really know what it is. I think it's like Red Heart or something, and it actually started like that but I just planed a piece because I wanted to look at it. It does have tongue and groove on it but I think I'll have enough wood to make the glasses. The glasses are going to consist of three layers. The first layer is going to be the backing on your face. Second layer is going to be a little bit bigger than the first one that on the holes and that's going to hold the lenses. Then the last one's just going to hold the lenses in and be on the outside. So let's take these out and we can get started. So now that I have my glasses traced out, this wood's really thin and I really don't want to cut it on a 12 inch uh, chop saw. So I'm just going to be using this box cutting knife and I'm just going to scribe a line and then I hopefully can just snap it on that line and I'll do that three times. Then use some double sided tape, stick them together and then just cut out this shape and it should give me three of the same exact shapes. double-sided tape together um, and just to keep track before I cut them out I'm just gonna take like this 7 to 30 seconds inch drill bit and just drill in the very center of both of the um, glasses part so I can just keep track of the glasses and I can drill the holes with a bigger drill bit <laughs> So now that we're done sanding, um, I'm just gonna break the layers apart and then I'm just gonna drill on just one of the layers, one of the three. I'm going to use this two inch Forstner bit and I'm just gonna drill through one of them right on these uh, center holes. And then on the other two, I'm gonna drill this one and three quarter inch hole through both of them. And the reason why I'm doing two different sizes is because the one um, that I'm doing the two inch hole for, that will be the middle layer of the glasses and that's where the, these black lenses are gonna lay because these are two inches. Then the other two and three quarter ones are gonna sandwich it so that the lenses don't fall out. And since I don't have one that's like two and, I mean one and seven eighth, which is what I wanted, I'm just gonna use this uh, one and three quarters and I'll just sand it on the spindle sander and I'll show you guys that. So now we'll just drill the holes. Holes. 
I'm just going to be sanding the front and back surfaces and we can sand the insides. So I just did most of the sanding. Um, this piece looks really great. All I need to do is just kind of take off some of the double-sided tape because the sander wouldn't really do it. So I'm just going to use some acetone and some rags and just try to wipe it off. But as you can see, one of them did break, but I will glue it back together. It's just because I accidentally dropped it. But let's wipe off that glue, then we can glue them together and let them sit. So now I'm just going to use some of this wood glue and I'm just going to glue the uh, faces together and put the lenses in. So now that the layers all have glue on them and the glasses are inside, I'm just going to set these glasses on a flat piece of wood and then set another flat piece of wood on top and then set a nice heavy weight on top. Instead of putting a heavy weight on it, I actually clamped it with three big clamps and now you can see it's just nice and under there. Let's wait 24 hours. Okay, everyone, it's been 24 hours. Well, probably about 22 hours, but the glasses are hopefully completely dry because I just used normal wood glue, so it should be completely dry. So I'll just undo the clamps. Wow, the uh, glue didn't really stick to the wood. There they are. Wow, it actually looks like all the plies are together. They look really cool. <laughs> so now we can just go sand them and make them um, their final shape and then put some legs on them. So now that the glasses are sanded and they're looking really nice, um, we can move on to the legs. So for the legs, I'm just gonna use the same exact material as I used for the frames. And I'm just gonna take these Ray-Ban legs and I'm just gonna trace them just like my other glasses I made. And I'll cut them out and then we can mount them with a, a, a hinge system. So now that the legs are cut out, I need to somehow attach them to the uh, frames. And I want them to hinge in and out like a normal pair of glasses. So I have this eight inch dowel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill eight inch holes right, right, like in the corner, right about here. Okay everyone, so it is the next day and yesterday didn't really go as planned because yesterday I wanted to get the hinges on and I wanted to complete the glasses. But um, just by making my own hinges, they're not gonna be that great just because of how thin my wood is. And I'm sure there's could be somebody out there that could make a really good hinge like this, but I think it's just gonna be too fragile and not gonna be good enough for my occasions because I do wanna use them for welding and the solar eclipse. So I went to the local dollar uh, store and I got these just cheap um, sunglasses and they actually actually have metal hinges. So I'll just somehow take those hinges out and then I'll just put these metal hinges onto the frames and then onto the glasses and they will be complete. Now I just need to get these little hinges out. that they have fit right in and they um, have a nice tight fit but I'm just gonna put a little dab of CA glue right under them and then put them in place and then we can make the notches on the legs. So I do have 
one um, leg glued onto the hinge, but I just want to put this on ca on camera. I just slid the um, hole that we just drilled over the hinge, and now I'm just gonna put a drop of CA glue in there, and it should hold it really nice. Okay, everybody, so the glasses are almost complete. All I need to do is put my logo on and then put a finish on. So let's start doing the logo. it off I'm just gonna use this Mylands wax polish. so much for watching i really hope you liked this video it turned out really great i hope it was entertaining and knowledgeable so thanks again for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video